All right, hello and welcome to Stampscapes Live, a expedited replay of a card that I entitled Alien Abduction. Okay, we have a piece of starry holographic printable vinyl sticker paper. That's a mouthful there. And this uh, printable vinyl really allows you to apply a number of different media, types of media, on it. It's really accepting of a lot of different things. But if you want to add things like color onto this type of surface, you kind of have to block some of it out. And Brilliance White water-based fast drying pigment ink is perfect for that. It provides a really great surface. But here, what I'm doing is I'm creating a cloudy background using just a torn paper towel as a template. And then I'm going in and uh, filling out some additional area with this white pigment ink, okay? And this white pigment ink on this type of emulsion surface really grabs the surface and it really applies very nicely. You can run your finger across the Brilliance ink and it really doesn't come off too much. Um, you know, if you rub your finger in there really vigorously, maybe you'll get some residue on your finger. But what it feels like when it dries is it feels like a piece of, I'd say, copy paper or something of that sort. It it's really provides a really great foundation for what I like using on it, which is colored pencils. I think it really pairs well with this very busy, loud, visual type of... Um, uh, a holographic vinyl. There's a lot of colors and pattern to it. Okay, I'm adding another cloud up top to kind of cap off the top portion. I'm going to have a UFO kind of coming out from underneath those clouds or from within the clouds, whatever, however you, way you choose to see it. All right, so um, this is the Meadow Large and I'm using a VersaFine Claire on top of this. I'm really printing it onto you know, the white of the brilliance, I'm not really applying it to um, the vinyl, but you can use it directly on the vinyl if you want to. But see, if I didn't block it off on the bottom portion there, you know, just, you, we just have a bunch of stars in that holographic area down there, and you wouldn't really be able to see the silhouette of the meadow very well. Okay, those are the spruce tree larges stamped in the foreground there. And now that I have kind of my main structure for my composition set with the designs, I'm going in with some additional clouds and, uh, you know, filling in the area with these formations. Now, sometimes you can do a more translucent cloud, you know, so that it's, you know, it doesn't stand out quite as much, just for variation. So you adjust it accordingly, every way you want it to be. And again, just using the uh, torn paper towel. And then we have kind of a surrounding of clouds like that. I'll go in and embellish it uh, more. Later I was showing people a photograph of some clouds there with the palm trees. And that's kind of the look that I'm going after. Okay. So you can move your template around, kind of hit your clouds a little bit unevenly. You can see where they're a little bit lighter in some areas and a little bit darker. All right, designing my little spaceship. I, I don't have a kind of a UFO type of uh, spaceship design, so I'm just designing it myself. And I'm going to do it on a piece of silver cardstock, okay? And just kind of getting my bearings here. I was trying to remember what, uh, the way that I used to draw um, UFOs when I was a kid. And, you know, it's just your typical, I don't know, very stereotypical type of uh, flying saucer type of thing. And that's kind of the look that I was going after here. Maybe kind of like a, a you know, a spaceship, like in a movie, like when the, uh, the day the Earth stood still or something like that. Or, you know, 50s type of version of uh, flying saucers and aliens. And I thought that would kind of lend itself to a kind of a more playful type of uh, look. All right, so cutting out this spaceship there, I designed it on one side, you know, the, uh, the white side, but then I'm going to use um, the silver side up. All right, kind of drawing some lines on there just to get my bearings, because I want to have these little windows on the side of the uh, spaceship kind of glowing with light. And a really great pen for this happened to be my three millimeter acrylic paint pen. There we adding, we're adding in those little lights like that. I'll make them glow a little bit later. Okay, we're adding 
our little tractor beam that's going to be um, lifting our cl uh, cows off the, uh, the surface of this uh, meadow here. I'm trying to make this tractor beam visible enough but not so harsh um, that it's just one solid beam of light. I wanted some of those stars to be showing through uh, the beam so I added in, you know, kind of a it's a little bit thicker um, amount of white closer to, you know, the emanation, you know, where the beam is going to be emanating from. There we have, glowing down the, uh, or taping down the uh, flying saucer, making those little windows glow there with a little bit more of the white pigment ink. And there we have our UFO and the tractor beam. Now we're just going to have to stamp our cows out in there. Now where I'm going to stamp this cow, I'm kind of making the area behind it a little bit lighter so that um, those darker trees won't interfere with the silhouette of the shape of the cow that's going to be stamped over the top of it. Okay, so kind of stamping them at an angle like that, you know, the legs probably would have been better dangling, but hey, that's the design, so... All right, so one does a cow in the foreground, a couple more cows in the background getting beamed up. All right, now here's what I really like about this Brilliant Sink. It really allows you to use the colored pencil right on top of it. The colored pencils don't scratch away the white, you know, sitting on the surface. They would if it was a holographic cardstock, but remember, this is the holographic printable vinyl. And that printable vinyl um, has this probably an emulsion coating, I'm guessing, that allows those different types of water-based media or the clair to use directly to absorb into and dry very quickly on that surface. All right, so I'm adding in those uh, greens down there, adding in some shadows to those green areas adding some shadows into my clouds, kind of just defining the clouds a little bit more. Just going on with a really light application of colored pencil to, you know, kind of get the, you know, the my bearings with it, you know, um, and whatnot. Okay, so coloring in the cows there. I want to give those cows um, a sense of mass and volume and doing a little bit of a shadow underneath that cow getting lifted up. I don't know, seeing this visual still cracks me up even though I did it myself. <laughs> but I don't know, I think it's just a funny scene. Okay, so adding in some additional little uh, textures into my sky here in the form of the clear crystals. I just thought, oh, you know, at certain angles you don't really see the, uh, you know, those stars too much. So why don't we add in a little bit of extra bling? And I think those are the types of things that, you know, kids really like seeing. They like seeing real twinkly, kind of exciting types of media used on, uh, you know, different surfaces, cards, etc., books, whatever it might be, you know, something to uh, get them a little bit excited. If you had some kind of glow-in-the-dark ink, you know, that might be kind of interesting on this too. Adding in some little highlights here and there on the scene just to bring out kind of an extra three-dimensional type of look and to reflect some of that really harsh kind of a strong light beam that's uh, carrying these uh, three cows up to the uh, ship here. And there you have it, alien abduction. Hope you enjoyed the card. It was really a fun one to do. Thanks so much for watching.